So Microsoft is rolling out some big changes to two of its oldest, most iconic apps, Notepad and Paint, both now equipped with AI capabilities. And this is a full-on integration of advanced generative AI that brings some pro-level editing features right into the heart of Windows 11. All right, first let's get into Notepad's update. Notepad, which has been around since 1983, has always been the simplest, most stripped down text editor. For decades, it's been a go-to for quick notes, code, or plain text documents without the distractions of a full-featured editor. But with AI, Microsoft is turning Notepad into a smarter tool. Microsoft calls this new feature Rewrite. Now you can highlight text, right-click, and select Rewrite to see alternative versions of your text. This is more than just automated rephrasing. Rewrite in Notepad is designed to give you options for length, tone, and even specific adjustments based on how you want your message to come across. For example, maybe you have a paragraph that's too wordy. You could use Rewrite to condense it without losing the original message. Or if you're drafting a more formal email, Rewrite can help make it sound polished. The AI-generated versions give you three distinct choices. If those still don't capture what you need, there's an option to retry and get more variations. The tool preserves your original text in the rewrite dialog so you can revert if the alternatives aren't quite right. In terms of convenience, this eliminates the need to jump into other apps or web services just for minor edits. It's all right there within Notepad. Since rewrite is a cloud-based service, you'll need to sign in with a Microsoft account to use it. This makes sense as the AI processing happens on Microsoft's servers. Right now, it's only available in select regions for users in the Windows Insider program, including the US, UK, France, Canada, Italy, and Germany. Additionally, Microsoft 365 subscribers in Australia, New Zealand, Malaysia, Singapore, Taiwan, and Thailand can use AI credits to access Rewrite. This setup hints that Microsoft is exploring AI monetization options for personal and family plans and the fact that it's using AI credits indicates that it could be a pay-per-use feature in the future beyond the Windows Insider program. Beyond rewrite, Microsoft has also sped up Notepad's launch time. This update is expected to make Notepad open around 35% faster for most users, with some reporting a boost of up to 55%. This performance enhancement complements the AI feature, making Notepad feel snappier and more modern. Now, Paint has also received a major upgrade with two new features generative fill and generative erase. Paint, like Notepad, has been around forever since 1985 and is known for its simplicity. Microsoft's adding a layer of sophistication that transforms Paint into something closer to a photo editing tool. With generative fill, users can insert new elements into an image with just a description. Here's how it works. Select an area with Paint's selection tool, pick the generative fill option and type in what you want to add. Let's say you have an empty background and want to add a mountain or maybe some clouds in the sky. The AI will generate options based on your description and blend them into your selection. You can cycle through different options using arrow buttons and if the initial choices don't look right, you can refine your selection or adjust your prompt. This feature is currently available only on Snapdragon powered Copilot plus PCs. Microsoft is clearly testing out this AI with more advanced hardware to make sure performance remains smooth and lag-free. Copilot plus PCs have the processing power to handle these intensive tasks locally, which makes sense given the high demand that AI-generated visuals place on hardware. It's possible that Microsoft will eventually optimize generative fill for other systems, but for now it's in a controlled rollout. Generative erase is the counterpart to generative fill. Instead of adding elements, it lets you remove them and then uses AI to fill in the background so it looks like the object was never there. Here's an example. If you have a photo of a street scene with a random car you don't want, generative erase can get rid of it and blend the empty space with the surroundings as if the car was never part of the image. This kind of feature is typically found in much more advanced photo editing software. So seeing it in paint is surprising. To use it, you select generative erase brush over the part of the image you want removed, and then click Apply. If you need more precision, there are tools to adjust the brush size or use rectangular and freeform selections. Unlike Generative Fill, Generative Erase is accessible to all Windows 11 insiders, which suggests Microsoft believes it's already optimized for general use. Now, Microsoft has also updated two additional features within Paint, Co-Creator and Image Creator. CoCreator uses a diffusion-based AI model, which essentially builds up images by layering details, creating faster and more accurate results. This model is restricted to Snapdragon-powered Copilot Plus PCs and has built-in moderation, 
ensuring content generated with AI meets Microsoft's standards for appropriate and quality output. Image Creator has also been expanded to more regions, now including the US, France, UK, Canada, Italy, and Germany. This feature lets users create entire images based on textual prompts, similar to how generative models like DALI or Stable Diffusion work. It's a huge addition for casual users who may need to generate images quickly without learning complex software. Microsoft 365 subscribers in Australia, New Zealand, Malaysia, Singapore, Taiwan, and Thailand can use AI credits to access this feature, making it another example of Microsoft's AI credit system in action. For now, these features are limited to Windows Insiders on the Canary and Dev channels running Windows 11. Windows 10 users won't have access, and even those on stable Windows 11 releases will need to wait until a broader rollout. This is a strategic move by Microsoft, as it allows them to monitor feedback and make refinements before these features hit the mainstream. These insider channels often get the first taste of Microsoft's experimental features, which is especially relevant for users interested in testing the latest tools. By keeping the rollout restricted, Microsoft gathers valuable data from a select group of users, adjusting performance, functionality, and even pricing models based on their feedback. The decision to add AI into Paint and Notepad, apps that traditionally cater to basic tasks, signals Microsoft's larger strategy of democratizing AI tools across its ecosystem. There's an accessibility angle here too, bringing advanced AI-powered capabilities to apps that people have been using for decades without needing expensive software. These tools lower the barrier to entry, making high-level text and image editing possible for casual users, students, and non-professionals who wouldn't normally pay for specialized software. This strategy also serves to show off the power of Microsoft's cloud-based AI services, building trust and familiarity among users. Many users may find themselves using AI-powered rewrite or generative fill without even realizing they're leveraging cloud AI. A clever way to integrate advanced tech into everyday life without overwhelming users with tech jargon or complex learning curves. As AI becomes integral to productivity tools, Microsoft's approach suggests a future where even the most basic built-in applications are empowered with AI. It's a signal that AI is no longer just for specific apps or industries. It's part of the core Windows experience. Notepad's rewrite, for example, may help streamline workflows for students, writers, or professionals looking for quick and seamless text edits. Paint's generative fill and erase, on the other hand, could be invaluable to content creators, casual designers, or anyone interested in creating or modifying images without technical skills or software investments. Now, Microsoft's integration of AI into Notepad and Paint is just the beginning. The company is clearly planning to roll out more advanced AI capabilities across its ecosystem. These new features in Notepad and Paint are about more than enhancing old apps. They're part of Microsoft's strategy to make AI a seamless part of everyday computing. With AI advancements like this, the distinction between basic and advanced apps is starting to blur. Microsoft's tools are moving towards a future where even the most ordinary apps have extraordinary capabilities. This approach benefits everyone, from students drafting essays to designers experimenting with image layouts by providing powerful AI tools within a familiar interface. So, how do you feel about these updates? Are we stepping into a new era of AI and everyday apps? Drop your thoughts below. And hey, if this deep dive was helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more AI and tech insights. Thanks for tuning in and catch you in the next one.